Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're here with a friend of mine, Jewel Saints, aka resident of Collinwood. And as you guys know, um, I've been working on a Halloween screenplay of my own. It has nothing to do with what Blumhouse is doing. Jewel can confirm that. This is something that we're working on together. Nothing to do with Blumhouse, right? No, it has nothing to do with Blumhouse. Um, and I guess the I guess the fans would want to know, um, how did you become involved with my screenplay? Um, you had contacted me and asked me if I would want to be a co-writer, and I said yes. And what drew you to this script? Like, because you you could have looked at it and said, "Well, hell no, I'm not doing this." Two things. Number one, I'm a huge Halloween fan. Number, well, three things. And two, you're very creative. And three, the characters, fresh new characters. Yeah. And I guess I would ask you, if you had to describe this story without mentioning the plot, how would you... How would you describe it to the fans without giving it away? Because you can't give it away. Fate. It has to do with fate. Like John Carpenter said in the original. Yeah, it has to do with the fate of these characters. And I guess my, my very final question would be, what do you think the fans would love about this screenplay if it actually got greenlit? two things we tie the timelines together and we keep john's fate and the biggest myth was always well you couldn't tie the timelines and have fate that is 1000 percent bullshit yeah you can you just have to try and we have so i want to thank you for taking the time to come on my channel and telling the fans, you know, that we are working on something. Uh, it has nothing to do with Blumhouse. This is something that we want to do after they're done with their trilogy. Are you going to go see Halloween Kills? I am. I'm going to go check it out. Maybe Trankus or Malik Akkad can see this, see this, uh, this video and, you know, give us a call. You know what I mean? Hey, you never know. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, is there anything you want to say before I ended this? I just want to ask you, what's, what inspired you to start this project? Uh, wow, that is a good question. I have been working on this project ever since May of 2004. And... Um, a teacher of mine, my high school teacher, said to me, you, you have to do this for a homework assignment. You've got to pick a, uh, a movie to do a sequel to it. And I couldn't think of anything better. I said, why not do a Halloween sequel? And this whole thing just took on a life of its own. And I've been working on this thing ever since. You know, ever since May of 2004, and it had a lot of crazy ups and downs. And, you know, we, we don't even really have a title for this, which is why um, it is under the working title Dead Man's Tales. It doesn't have an official title, but if it did get greenlit, um, I, I'm assuming that uh, Malik Akkad would want us to call it Halloween and just Halloween. Yeah. So, um, yeah. What's something you want to say to the fans about this? Well, I think it's something that they're going to enjoy. As I posted on social media, it is a callback to the first eight films. It is a love letter. To the fans that love the first eight films. Um, again, this is nothing against what the new guys are doing. Because I'm going to see the film. I'm going to see Halloween Kills. 
and Halloween ends, but this is just something I wanted to do on my own. You know, it has nothing to do with them. And I want to establish that as many times as it takes. And I'm sure you can agree with that, that it has nothing to do with them, you know. No, it has nothing to do with Blumhouse or their story they're doing. This is completely different from what they're doing. And, hey, I'm going to go see Halloween Kills. I'm definitely going to check it out. So, I, I just want to thank you for stopping by. I know we couldn't give the fans a lot, but we can tell them it is a callback to the first eight films. Um... Who knows, Mr. Akkad, if you're out there, sir, we have a treatment. So, um, it is under the working title Dead Man's Tales, or Halloween, whichever you prefer. Um, so, thank you again for stopping by, Jewel. Thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Thank um, you for bringing me up. Yeah, and thank you for helping me preserve the legacy of Michael, by the way. If this script did get greenlit after the trilogy, the Blumhouse trilogy, it would be dedicated to Malik's father. So, um, yeah. the great Mustafa Akkad. Yeah, the, the godfather of Halloween. That's right. So, um, thank you guys for watching, and Jewel, thank you again for being here. Thank you for having me.